You want your ads to work smarter, not harder. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use X ads and actually prove that you're getting results. Hey there, my name's Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. If you're new to my channel, comment new, and I will send you that full checklist that I have on how to set up your ad account and track it properly. If you stick with me to the end, I'm gonna share a secret that I found to get more followers using X ads. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into it. So the first thing you need is an X manager. If you haven't set up your X advertising channel yet, go ahead and get that set up. It's gonna look like this once you get logged in. It's gonna make you set up an ad account that you can go pause after, but you wanna be able to actually get in here and get this set up. Now, once you're in here and you have all your information, your billing saved, first place you wanna go is tools, and then you wanna to go to that events manager here. This event events manager is what's gonna track everything that happens on your website. You're gonna click add event source, you're gonna to agree to their terms, and you'll get to the pixel code. Now, depending on where you're at in your business, if you're brand new starting out and you don't have a Google tag manager, at least get this code in the head area of your site, which I'll show, but I always recommend using this in Google tag manager to be able to get the best results in the future. What that does is it keeps your website loading fast without a bunch of different codes, because you're gonna to have to put your Google analytics in, your Facebook ads in, all these pixels in, and that will slow down your site. So what you really wanna do is get here, you wanna view your pixel code, and the simple way is you can go ahead and just copy this, and you wanna head over to your website here, and this is how my website is set up, is on Duda, one of the best website platforms out there. I'll post my affiliate link down below if you wanna try them out, and what you wanna do is go ahead and go to the head HTML section, or send this to your web developer, have them put this in here, and hit save. Now you're saved and you can start tracking properly from your site. Now, if you wanna use the tag manager route, you're gonna go ahead and just go here. You're gonna copy this ID, pixel ID, and then you're gonna head over to your Google Tag Manager. Now, once you're in your Google Tag Manager or you can hire a freelancer to do this for you, I have a freelancer that I use every time to help set these up. I'll post that affiliate link down below as well. You wanna go into tags, you wanna create a new tag, and it's gonna look just like this. Once this tag is in there, you're gonna call it the Twitter base pixel. You're gonna put your code in there that you copied and pasted from your site. You want to go ahead and click on these, make sure these are blank. You can want you want default URL, and you can just basically keep all of these the same. Go ahead and get those saved, but you want an advanced person to come in and make sure that these are all set up properly so it's tracking properly on your site. Okay, now that you saved that and saved your website, go ahead and go to your live website after you publish it and they have an extension in the Chrome store that you can search. It looks like this, it's called X Pixel Helper, and you can see that that is loading on your site, and that's the proper tag on your site. So feel free to go and check that, and just make sure you did it right. If it doesn't load right away, you might wanna come back and just double check in, a, in 30 to 60 minutes. Okay, that's it. Now you should be tracking all visitors to your website, so you can go ahead and go to the next step here, and now you can go ahead and build out your audiences. So from there, you're gonna click on audiences under tools, and you can see I don't have any audiences here. So you can go ahead and create an audience, and you can upload a list if you have a customer list, or you can start tracking from your website. Once you do that, it's gonna show up like this, and you're gonna say website audience, and then you're gonna go ahead and say that you want the pixel code, and visitors to any web page. Now, if you wanna really dive in later on, you can go add specific pages, maybe a landing page or a store page, so you can retarget them and remind them to come back and buy. I'm just gonna do the whole website, I'm gonna to agree to the terms, and I'm gonna click next. Now, you're gonna give it a little bit, you're gonna see it's processing, and then from there, you just wait, and it'll start building up a list that you can target your ads to, to make sure that you are properly sending your ads to the right people. Me, myself, I like sending my ads to people that follow me and also people that engage with my posts. And I also like to show my ads to anyone that visits my website when we do the retargeting ads. Now, I've got the full advertising accelerator course that I have that shows you how to set up those retargeting ads. So feel free to check that out in the description below. All right, now that that's all set up, I want you to go back to the ads. And I'm gonna recommend a video right here. This video will show you the fastest way to get your ads set up so you start seeing results from X ads. Go watch that and then you wanna come back once you have your ads running for a few days and you wanna come and start looking at some tracking. In the tracking here, we can go ahead and change the metrics. What we wanna do is we wanna change their metrics and add our own. So we're gonna click customize metrics. From here, we wanna look at a couple different things. I don't really care about my objective. I already know what that is. Um, I don't care when it started or ends. Um, 
And also, I don't care what my budget is. Results, result rate, daily budget, don't really care what that is, don't care about the budget. You'll see that they have all these things in here you really don't need. So what we wanna go do is we wanna do cost per click. And that's gonna tell us how much it costs for somebody to go to our website from our ads. We also wanna go and look at followers. So we wanna see how much it costs per follow, the follow rate and the follows here. You can see I'm building that up here. There's a couple other things that you can look for based on what you're interested in for your business and what would best to you. So you can go ahead and keep scrolling down. You can look at the total reach here. You can look at the spend. I don't really look at that much. I already know what my spend is. Um, if you have an app, you can connect that with your app. You can look at your total link clicks here, the link click rate as well. You can also go look at swipes and that's people that are swiping if you have a carousel ad. You wanna look at engagements, that's people leaving comments, likes. If you have an ad that's getting a lot of likes and a lot of follows, you wanna keep that ad running. Um, if you do a poll, you can look at votes. You can also look at profile visits, which I like doing pro profile visits. That way I can see if people are actually interested in this ad. Love to see some retweets there. And of course, let's see if anyone unfollows us. From there, it's just payment information and really not much else that I would put in there. You can, once you, if you have a store or if you're tracking purchases from your website, I would definitely recommend coming and adding these in there. That way you can see how many people have purchased or add to cart, and then you can even see the cost per purchase, depending on if you have that set up in your Google Tag Manager properly or not. From there, you wanna save it. So I'm gonna call this Brad's Metrics. And from there, I'm gonna save as a new preset. And that's it. Now I have my preset here, and I can scroll over and I can see that I have zero followers, zero link clicks, zero swipes. This is a new ad account for this video specifically, but I have a couple engagements already, just a few things in there, but that's what you wanna look for to see if your ads are working. From there, it's always gonna reset to summary. So next time you come in, you wanna just change it. That's why we saved it. All right, so I hope this video brought you a ton of value. Like I promised, I wanna give you an opportunity to actually set these ads up for yourself. So I'm gonna, in the first comment down below this video, I'm leaving you a link there. And in that link, you can go learn how to create this and set up the proper ads to get more followers and to get clicks for pennies per click. X ads is the new underpriced attention. It's what we're doing for our business and all of our clients' businesses. And if you're ever interested in having me help you set these up, we have the Advertising Accelerator where we show you how to get the best results. And I think most important, what to post to get results. So thanks again for watching this video. If it brought you any value, please subscribe and I will see you on the next one.